Hey YouTube, Sam here. You ever wonder what was inside of one of these dishwashers? Uh, I believe this says it's a Whirlpool Gold. Hidden away. Yeah, Whirlpool Gold. Uh, a lot of this one's plastic, but there's quite a bit of metal. Definitely some copper from motors and things like that. So we'll dig into it and see what we can scrap off of it. Like I always say, if you do something I do, I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself. And if you don't like the way I'm doing it, don't do it. But right here is a start capacitor. Uh, this is one of those things where most pieces of equipment you're going to tear apart, you want to let them set for at least a couple weeks before you start tearing into them. And even then you need to be careful because that right there carries a decent load of energy whether it's plugged in or not. And it will actually hold it there. Uh, it's, it stores energy here so that when you go to start next time this motor right here it's not working so hard and taking so much boost of energy to start so that's exactly what that's for is to hold energy so be careful when you're messing with this stuff well since I am scrapping this um, I could not figure out how to get this thing off of the uh, bottom piece here and actually after I busted it out of there I came to find out if I would have lifted up this little flap here, there's like a little uh, cardboard flap that's got kind of a tin foily piece in there. Anyway, lift that up, stick a wrench down in here, and I don't know what size it is because I didn't bother undoing it. Uh, there's a bolt right there that if I would have pulled off, this thing would have popped right out. So, anyhow, if you're trying to get this thing off of here or without destroying things, uh, that's the way to do it. Well, Inside here, I've torn it all apart, got everything out of it. There is some metal. Um, now with these, you got to look. Some of the older ones down in here is stainless, and a lot of the actual places where you put the dishes happen to be stainless on some of the older ones. And that'd be older ones where the body was completely steel. Um, on this one, there's enough steel on it. I'm just going to leave the frame and all that, and I'm just going to take the whole thing and throw it in the scrap. So that's just scrap metal, basically the whole thing. Over here, we have the motor here, which I busted trying to take off. So although the motor probably works fine, uh, I'll probably just scrap it. Got your start capacitor there. That's the big don't touch me thing. And we got the pump motor right here got quite a bit of copper and this as you can see is kind of stuck to it so there's a magnet on that so I don't know if there's any copper inside that or if it's just a piece of magnet um, this here stainless steel this is actually stainless where the uh, water comes up through and shoots your dishes and over here we got a few pieces of brass copper things I need to tear apart a little bit more a few screws nuts bolts screws some uh, hose clamps, couple of pretty decent springs. Those are springs right there. Uh, then we got some computer boards here. Uh, I need to tear them apart a little bit more, but they do actually appear to be some fairly or decent grade boards. And then you got this. This is was up underneath the push button here uh, that kind of starts everything. Some people say there's silver on that. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this kind of stuff. Uh, I haven't got enough of it to deal with right now, but. When I do, I might find out more about that. And then we got a little bit of wire. Um, seems like the newer these machines get, the less wires and less uh, stuff you can get out of them, uh, unfortunately. I'm sure at some point in time when you start throwing these things away whole, like I'm going to do the scrap yards will start hauling or in too much plastic. But we'll see. Uh, my scrap yard, uh, you know, doesn't pay a ton. They kind of expect to get some plastic mixed in. And then you got your garbage, uh, got a bucket full of stuff that I am just going to throw away. Um, unfortunately, you got again, no other situation than just to throw it into the dump. But that's a whole lot less than throwing all of this in the dump. So, this is Sam, Jack of all, Master None. Y'all have a good one.